Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we let the children lead, I'm going to ask everyone to please stand so that we can observe a moment of silence for Christian Rivera. Please keep Christian and his family in your thoughts and your prayers. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We will now call to order the April 2nd meeting of the Civil Board of Education. Please rise for the pledge to the flag. Ms. Hill, roll call, please. Mr. Callahan? Here. <laughs> Mr. Esposito? Here. Mr. Fernandez? Here. Mrs. Napolitano? Here. Mrs. Pabon? Here. Mrs. Peacock? Pilock? Pilock? Here. I was trying Mr. Smith? Here. Mr. Walsh? Here. Mrs. Bloom? Here. Ms. Hill, will you summarize executive session? Personnel, including but not limited to agenda items, was on the agenda but was not discussed. Ms. Hill, any correspondence? No. Student Council Representative Comment. Sean. Thank you. Good evening to my young board. Here are the events that have been happening at SWMHS over the past weeks. STEM capstone students are beginning their externships this week in institutions such as the Adele Pediatrics, the Cerebral Pharmacy, and some are shadowing staff members at our own school. On March 21st, SWMHS held Mr. Cerebral. There was a group dance, a bathing suit contest, a talent show, and a dress to impress event. The event was a great success in terms of student attendance and fundraising for the soccer program. Cerebral hosted Eva Weiner, a Holocaust survivor, again this year as she spoke to juniors about her experiences. Two students from the Jewelry and Metalworking II class received honors at the annual Scholastic Arts and Writing Awards. Picked from over 2,600 submissions, Melanie Colon Rodriguez received the Silver Key Award for her submitted ring and Michelle Palamo Gonzalez received an honorable mention for her submitted necklace. Moving on to sports. Many teams have yet to play their first games, but two sports have already began the regular season. Boys lacrosse began the season with a 12-5 win over Rutherford yesterday, and girls golf is currently 0-2. In terms of upcoming events, a Christian Fellowship Club is presenting Risen, an Easter concert tomorrow evening in the auditorium with music by local worship band Anchored. And that is all I have for you all tonight. Thank you, board. Thank you, Sean. Sean, do you still have crutches? No, I actually got off of them pretty recently. Ashton, good job. Thank you. <laughs> good evening, Board of Education members and administrators. My name is Ashton Pondel, SMS Student Council Board of Education representative. The Student Council hosted an Anything Goes Assembly on March 22nd. The staff won all three assemblies. It was a great time. The Cerebral School District will be honored by CASA Court Appointed Special Advocates of Middlesex County at an event, Toast 2024, on May 7th at the Chateau Grande. CASA is honoring the district for the Middle School's Community Service Club's support and collection of their gift drive for foster children for over a decade. 
Doreen Consolmano, Community Service Advisor, will be present to accept the award on behalf of the district. The music department is excited to host duets on May 31st. This event is fun, full of talents, laughs, and making memories. We hope to see you there. The spring concert will be held on May 6th at uh, SWMHS. Harlem Wither oh, geez, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Harlem Wizards game versus the Thunderstruck Bombers teacher team is Thursday, April 4th at the high school gym. Eighth grade semi-formal dance is Friday, May 10th. Ticket information will be sent out soon. Now onto the Sayreville Middle School Athletics. All spring sports are on their way. Games and meets will begin soon. The athletes and coaches are excited to bring their se se season. That's all. Thank you, Ashton. Great, great job, Ashton and Sean. You both rock. <laughs> Board President's comments, no comments at this time. Board Vice President comments, highlights. Congratulations to the members of the Sarahville War Memorial High School Future Business Leaders of America who competed in place at the New Jersey Future Business Leaders of America State Leadership Conference in Atlantic City. Congratulations to Sarava War Memorial High School Julie and metalworking students, Melanie Colon Rodriguez and Michelle Palamo Gonzalez, who were granted top honors at the annual Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Melanie received a Silver Key Award for her ring, Concha de Mar, while Michelle re received an honorable mention for her necklace, Isaac's Poison. Congratulations to Justin Pastva, Sarava War Memorial High School's Girls Winter Tracks and Field Head Coach for being named the Greater Middlesex Conference Girls Winter Track and Field Coach of the Year. Commendations, commendations to our amazing fifth grade students who are participating in the special Let the Children Lead Be <coughs> Bow meeting. Now for presentations. Let the Children Lead program, Mrs. Coglanese. Good evening, Dr. Labby, Mr. Glock Malloy, Mr. Nasta, Ms. Hill, Dr. Aguilas, Ms. Burt, Mrs. Grossman, and Mrs. Burns and members of the Board of Education. My name is Ahmed Iqbal, and I am here tonight representing Mrs. Coglinis, principal of Samsa Upper Elementary School. I would like to thank you for giving us the opportunity to be a part of this evening's Board of Education meeting. Over the past few months, we have we have had the opportunity to learn about the roles and responsibilities of being a Board of Education member or administrator. Tonight we are excited to join members of our community in making decisions about our school system. We would all like to thank our families, friends, and teachers for coming out to, to support us tonight. I would also like to thank the Board of Education members who volunteered their time for students and teachers. Thank you, thank Mrs. Coglini. Mrs. Mrs. Bloom? I'd like to make a parliamentary. I'd like to make a parliamentary. Point of order. Point of order. I thought it was my responsibility, it was my responsibility <laughs> to, announce to, announce the, to announce the presentations. Oops. Oops. <laughs> 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 well, show, show accepted. 
Apology accepted. <laughs> Moving on, board discussions. <coughs> Finance and infrastructure, Mr. Smith. The Finance Committee met on March 12 and discussed the following. Bids for referendum, for referendum projects are moving along. First bid, HVAC units are in and waiting install at the high school and Truman Elementary School. Second bid, Windows Arliff is complete with a few items to fix. Slover will be, in, be installed this month and the middle school in May. Third, Third bid, roofing, Arliff is complete. Up Elementary School has started but is waiting for, waiting for warmer weather. The high school is mostly complete and the middle school has not started yet. <coughs> Fourth bid, electrical, waiting for the contractor. Fifth bid, Upper Elementary School and middle school bids have been awarded, waiting to start. Sixth bid, windows awarded and waiting to start at the Wilson, Dup Elementary, and the high school. Seventh, eighth, and ninth bids are waiting to go out. Infrastructure updates, district wide large space, HVAC upgrades are done. Still waiting on a fire line part for Eisenhower should be done in May. High school stadium, lighting upgrade is waiting on parts. High school stadium grandstand and theater audio upgrades have been completed. Up out on elementary school parking lot lights all work. This makes Mrs. Bloom very happy. <laughs> Personnel, Mrs. Pylock. The Personnel Committee will meet on April 16th and we will provide an update at the board meeting that night. Thanks, Mrs. Bloom. Mr. Smith, I have a question. Yes? Will there be air conditioning in the middle school next year? Hopefully. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 Governance, Mrs. Napolitano. There's nothing to report. <laughs> Student achievement, Mr. Callahan. There was no mean to report on. The mean is April 30th, and I'll give a report after that meeting. Middlesex County School Board Association update. Nothing new. <laughs> Educational services, Mrs. Napolitano. Nothing to report. <laughs> Mrs. Bloom? Before, before we go into our suggestions for third graders. Before we go into our suggestions for third graders. I believe there are some district administrators who also have reports. Who also have reports. Can we begin with Mr. Naster? Can we begin with Mr. Naster? Yes. The, de the Department of Student Services would like to share the following. Attending preschool and kindergarten parents our online <coughs> registration is currently open for project before. Preschool and kindergartner registration, please visit the Seraphil Public School website for f further information. On or about April 15th, online registration for Camp XL will be open. Please visit the Seraphil Public Schools website for further information on your extended school year program. The, our spring unified basketball season was a success with our March Madness tournament held at Arliff Elementary School, Samso Upper Elementary School, and Saraville Middle School. This 
year, our high school team went on the road for the very first time to play Perth Amboy High High School. Next up in our summer unified track and field season, be on the lookout for the season announcements for our preschool, elementary, middle, and high school teams. We're hoping to complete against a team once again from a neighborhood town, Let's Go Bombers. Finally, please come out, out and support our very own Bombers Cafe, which is located on 132 Main Street in Sarahville. You can enjoy a really good cup of coffee and some baked goods. It, a warm and embracing and inclusive people of all abilities. Great job, Mr. Master. Great job, Mr. Master. Mr. Glockamaloy, do you have any information to share? Uh, the network refresh is all nearly complete, and the, we only need to finish the high schools. Thank you, Mr. Glockamaloy. Thank you, Mr. Glockamaloy. How about you, Mrs. Grossman? <coughs> How about you, Mrs. Grossman? I'm going to have Mrs. Burns start. <coughs> Sarahville is pleased to announce that we will once again be offering summer learning acceleration in July for students in grades K to 5. Intern invitation letters will be sent home to parents of students that are eligible for the program. It will run from July 1st to August 1st from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. for four days a week. Students will have the opportunity to work on their literacy and math skills in a fun camp like environment. Once a week, there will be a field trip or special activity. Summer ex learning acceleration trips will be to the Mentushin Pool and the SWMHS for the annual Bombers Game competition. Thank you, Mrs. Burns. Mrs. Grossman, you ready? Yes. <laughs> in addition to literacy and math, students in K through five will explore <coughs> STEAM topics and participate in Lego showcases throughout the summer. Students will work with special Lego kits and engineer machines using colorful plastic blocks. Students will also have art, music, STEAM, and PE once a week. Other news related to curriculum and instruction is that the NJL, NJL, NJSLA testing will be taking place in grades three to 10 starting in late April. Right now, students at SUES, SMS, and SWMHS have the opportunity to prepare for these important state tests through NJSLA boot camps for math, language arts and science. Thank you, Mrs. Grossman. Thank you, Mrs. Grossman. Is there any truth? You're welcome. Is there any truth about the rumor? Is there any truth about the rumor? That fifth graders won't have to take the NJSLA test this year? That grades won't have to take the NJSLA, that, fi that the fifth grade won't have to take the NJSLA this year? <laughs> <laughs> no. There's no truth to that rumor. Oh. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Burke, how about you? Okay, Mrs. Burt, how about you? Did you know that right now the district is planning for the June 4th Staff Development Day here in Serval? Our administration and staff model the importance of learning by continuing to grow themselves. Throughout the school year, on June 4th, the staff will select two professional development sessions that they would like to attend so they can grow professionally and learn all of the latest information and the best practices to apply in their in their classrooms or in their special roles in the district the staff has also participated in professional learning 
communities each month. On the afternoon of June 4th, staff will be presenting what they learned in these PLCs to their team members in their schools. The most special part of this day is that the several district staff value learning and they pr prioritize learning to be their best for themselves and for the children in our several community. Thanks, Mrs. Burt. How exciting. How exciting. Dr. Aguilis. Dr. Aguilis. Anything riveting? A anything riveting? Going on in HR? Yes. In Human Resources, we continue to look for the best candidates to fill our open vaccines, whether it's in cla the classroom, the kitchen, transportation, security, technology, or food services. To that end, we interview candidates for all open positions. We go out to career fairs to recruit candidates, and twice a year, we hold our career fair in the district to fill all the open positions we have currently we currently have, as well as anticipated openings for next year. Our next career fair will be held on Saturday, May 4th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. here in the Sierra boardroom. We welcome anyone looking forward to joining the district as an employee to join us. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Aguilis. Mr. Coleman'sberger. Mr. Coleman'sberger. After listening to Mrs. Smith's report, I was wondering if you ever sleep. I was wondering if you ever sleep. <laughs> Is there anything special going on in facilities? Is there anything special going on in facilities? That Mr. Smith didn't mention. That Mr. Smith didn't mention? We are currently in the pro process of remodeling several bathrooms in the middle school as well as our list school. We are also converting a science room into a STEM room at the middle school. In addition, the projects are still going on. We are looking forward to the completion of the roof and window projects as well as a district-wide air conditioning upgrades. As you can see, we are very busy with our big projects. In addition, the day-to-day -day operations of cleaning the schools and maintaining the buildings so they are safe and clean for all students and staff. Thank you, Mr. Coleman'sberger. And thank you, Mrs. Bloom, for allowing our district leaders to share what's going on. You're welcome. Can I be the first? Can I be the first? to share my advice with our third graders, with our third graders about, transitioning about transitioning to the Samsel Upper Elementary School. Yes. I would tell the third grader that it's okay to feel scared, nervous, or even confused. There are going to be many hallways, and you might get lost in the stairs, but we have all been there. I know that on my first day at this entirely new school, I felt like I was walking through the house of mirrors. <laughs> there is so much to see, I can't stuff it into my brain all at once. Also, you have a lot of fun here. Near the end of the year, we do fun things like a walkathon, field day, which you probably had before, and many more fun activities for the entire school year. At the same time, you have a lot of fun learning. Learning here is not like any other school. Instead of sitting here listening to a, uh, instead of sitting at a desk all day listening to a teacher talk and talk whatever we need to know about math and science, we play games. We play games to help us learn about what we could discover ourselves by or with a partner. Like if you were doing a grammar lesson, you could play matching cards for the Greek and Latin root words. Very fun instead of sitting at your desk getting wrong body posture. <laughs> you also have to get ready to work, however. But ahead of you are two years full of fun and adventure, and you won't forget every single moment. That's what advice I would give to a third grader coming to the UES. What advice would you give, Miss Hill? I would give plenty of advice to a third grader coming up to the UES. 
First, I would advise not to hesitate to ask teachers for help and clarification. In addition, you will be more independent in the UES, but you must stay organized to maintain good studies. Furthermore, stay involved and positive to overcome hardships. Lastly, academics is important, but have fun and enjoy the SUES. The SUES has fun activities such as Battle of the Books, Laser Light Show Assembly, and Field Day. In conclusion, you will have ama an amazing time at the UES. You will be a different person by the end of your time at a, the U SUES. How about you, Mr. How about you, Mr. Naster? The advice, the advice I would give a third grader who is coming to the UES would be to be prepared to switch classes and have the supplies you need. Switching classes mean in the morning you have language arts and you will switch to math in the afternoon or the opposite of that. To stay organized, you, can, you could... Use a sling bag to keep all of your stuff. I would also tell them they should be prepared to walk up three flights of stairs to make sure to wear good shoes to walk <laughs> up to your classroom. The third graders should also be very organized. Plan out your supplies before starting school. This way you will have everything you need this is what I would tell a third grader who's coming to the UES. What do you, do you think, Mr. Glockmoid? Advice I, give, I, advice I would give a third grader coming to the UES is to be nice to all teachers and not to cause too much trouble. Always own your actions. Maybe that will be helpful in your consequences. And your consequences might not be that bad. The SUES is bigger than elementary. You won't get used to the hallways or and other areas that fast. So you would want to stay in line with your class until you get used to the school and you would know your way around since you were in the school for a while and you would not get lost. To get around the school, you have to follow directions and always follow safety precautions, especially during drill, drills. The teachers are preparing you for middle school, so they're, they are more strict and more serious in grading. This is what I would give, well, this is what advice I would give a third grader. What do you think, Mr. Callahan? The advice I'll give to a third grader coming to the UES is if you raise money or be a kind kid, you could win prizes or see and do fun things. One reason why is if you fundraise money for the PTO, you could go to assemblies to watch a light show, see BMX stunts, and way more. Another reason why is because in my class, my teachers give brain bucks out for doing nice things. And at the end of the year, you win prizes for how much brain bucks you have. A final reason is because if you are kind, you not only get to do fun things, but you can also make more friends that way. What do you think, Mr. Walsh? The advice that I give to a third grader who is coming to the SOES is to follow the rules and regulations that the SOES has. Be disciplined in school so that you would get a good name. Do your homework daily and do not leave it under the deadline. Respect your teachers, friends, nurses, and principal and vice principal. If you do so, then you'll get the same respect from others. If you get hurt or bullied or threatened by someone in the school, there are always teachers and other adults in the school to make sure that you're safe. SOVS is a safe place for you to trust, and your only job is to do your work correctly. It's okay to make mistakes, but you have to learn from your mistakes and from others, too. What do you think, Mr. Esposito? Some advice I would give to a third grader coming to the U at UES would be to have fun and enjoy the things that UES would have to offer. I would tell them to behave well so they don't get in trouble. I would also tell them to study well so they wouldn't have to worry about the tests they might have and so they can get good grades. Most importantly, I would tell them to be prepared for each class they might have. For example, having their sample folder for each class so they can store and review any important papers they may get. What do you think, Miss? N. <laughs> Advice I would give to a third grader coming to the UES would be to always do the right things and follow the rules. 
If you always do the right thing and follow the rules, there won't be consequences. But if you don't follow the rules, there will be consequences such as lunch attention, suspension, and more things you don't want to know about. <laughs> Another thing I would tell a third grader coming to the UES would be that things are going to be a little tricky or confusing. But no matter how hard it is, always try your best and never give up because you can learn from your mistakes to make you better at your craft. If you're having trouble, maybe you could ask your teacher and maybe they could help you. For example, maybe solving a hard math problem or even pronouncing a hard word that you don't understand. The Samsville Upper Elementary School is going to be a lot bigger than your elementary schools. And depending on what floor you're on, there are three floors, and your class could be one, on any one of those floors. It's very confusing at first, but after a couple days, you will get used to it. Trust me, the stairs feel like pain. <laughs> hope this helped you know more about the SUES, and I hope you enjoy your experience. What advice w would you give, Miss Bloom? The advice I would give to a third grader coming to the SUES is to complete your schoolwork and homework. If you don't complete your work, there will be consequences such as having substandard grades, falling behind in your education, and a great quantity of makeup work. Another piece of advice would be to focus in class and don't waste time. If you restrain from focusing in class, you will be unaware of what to do, confused, and you won't know what your teacher has taught. If you waste time, your teacher might have to speak to you, you can miss deadlines in your work, and more. The next piece of advice I would give to a third grader is to work hard, think smart, and try your best. Lastly, I will leave you with this. Don't stress out and don't be scared because you're awesome. Also, if you do all this and other good things, only great things will come in your way. How about you, Mrs. Pylock? The SUES may be intimidating with its tall stairwells and older kids but this school is not to be feared and there are many good reasons you shouldn't be afraid. First, you will make many friends here. Throughout my years at the SUES, I've made many new friends and had many good times with old friends as well. With friends, you will know you are not alone in this massive school. Second, the teachers will support you throughout your years here. The teachers will make sure you're comfortable, you're in a comfortable learning environment so you can live up to your full potential. The teachers are very friendly and will help you whenever you need it. As you can see, there's nothing to be afraid of in the school of many possibilities. You will meet new friends and be supported by kind and caring teachers. Oh yeah, and uh, when you go up the stairwells, make sure to wear sneakers. The stairwells are pain inflicting. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Mr. Smith? Dad, but the advice I would like to give a third grade coming to the UES is don't be afraid of change. Change is good. Everyone goes through changes in life. Second, be a leader. Don't be afraid to try out new things like band, chorus, and clubs. Go for it. Most of all, have fun, make new friends, and don't be afraid to be yourself. My biggest wish for any third grader is to enjoy and make wonderful memories at the UES. How about you, Ms. Pabone? If I were to give a third grader coming to the UES advice, I would say many things. One, don't stress. The UES is not as hard as you think. Two, make sure you are wearing your lanyard, copying your homework, and most importantly, doing your homework. It will definitely get you prepared for middle school. Finally, behave your best. You will have trips and fun projects, but they all are privileges that come with good behavior. What do you think, Mr. Fernandez? The advice I would give to a third grader coming to the SUES would to be your try your best and don't ever give up. You might have a little trouble, but you will learn lots of new things. To help prepare for the SUES, you should try to practice your multiplication facts and also read as much as you can. Another fact I would give to you about the school is that it's going to be much bigger than your past schools you've been in. Another thing is you are going to learn lots of new things during your SUES experience. It's going to be hard at first, but I promise you will succeed otherwise. One last detail is that you might need help in the beginning, so make sure you ask your lovely teachers for help when you think you are struggling. That's all for my advice for a third grader. What do you think, Mr. Coleman's-Rigger?
Some advice I would give a third grader coming to the SUES is you have two teachers, a math and language arts teacher. You would switch classes. Either in the morning you would have your math or language arts teacher, then you would switch to the other one. Another thing I would tell a third grader coming to the SUES is every other day you have gym. Depend depending on your trimester, you would either have music or, or technology. And every trimester, you get a grade. The last thing I would tell a third grader coming to the SUES is try hard and never give up. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. I mean, Dr. Agalese? Attention third graders, as you step into this exciting world of upper elementary school, I've got some valuable advice to make your journey even more rewarding. Exploring new subjects and teachers. Get ready to dive into science, social studies, and even a foreign language. Each teacher has their own unique style, so be open to from learning from different educators. Nurture friendships and social skills. Friendships may evolve, and you'll meet new classmates. Be kind, inclusive, and respectful. Everyone has their own story, so listen and learn from one another. Embrace responsibility. Fourth and fifth grade often involve more independence. Take ownership of your learning, organize your materials, and advocate for yourself when needed. Listen to your teachers. They'll help you adjust to new routines and guide you through this exciting phase. Join clubs. Explore after-school clubs or sports to meet other students and discover new interests. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to seek help. Curiosity leads to growth. Embrace challenges, whether it's a math problem, a research project, or a science experiment. Give it your best shot. Challenges are opportunities to learn and excel. Remember, every grade brings new experiences and chances to us to learn and grow. Enjoy the journey, ask questions, and have fun. What do you think, Mrs. Burns? My advice I would give to a third grader coming to the UES is it is okay to be nervous. Many of us were scared, stressed, and nervous. Also, you will be afraid, but that's all right. You should be confident and, and be brave. And remember, you belong, and you will make more friends on the way. My first day in the UES was terrifying for me, and most likely for everyone. You will not be familiar with anyone, and you will be very nervous and stressed. Don't forget that it is all right to be nervous, and you'll be more com comfortable later on in the year. The after-school activities are very exciting, and many of them are really fun. Finally, if you are stressed, you, we have the best guidan guidance counselors for everyone. If you are worried, you can go to them, and they will help you with your problems and teach you strategies to overcome your fears or problems. If you need any help, p please feel free to ask a teacher. We have the best teachers here at the Sam Swapper Elementary School. Jim here is the best of the best, and the games are extremely fun. They also have health, but it's fine because you learn more about the body, drugs, and any other thing. Coming here at the Samsung Upper Elementary School will be the best school you will ever go to. Any advice from you, Mrs. Grossman? Advice I would give to a third grader is to be prepared for how big the UES is. However you, however, you would get used to the size quickly. Also, you have two classes that you have to switch between, and your teachers are very kind. You could have lunch before or after recess. The SCVS is a great school, and there are so many fun activities, such as field day, field trips, and laser shows. Ms. Burt, what advice would you give? Advice I would give a third grader is to be yourself and don't care what others think of you. Try your best with homework and schoolwork, but remember to have fun. And think about the after school activi activities. They're fun and you can make friends and it gets your energy out. What do you think, Ms. Coglinis? <coughs> Ms. 
The advice I would give to a third grader if he or she came to the UES is to not be scared to talk to new people. The teachers are nice and plan fun things. Also, the PTO is the best. If you fund money to the PTO, they entertain you with things like the BMX show, light show, field day, and many more. When the school year is almost over, we do fun things every week. Uh, always be nice to everyone you meet because if you are nice to everyone, they will be happy and so will you. Lastly, stay safe, have fun, and work hard to get good grades in school. You should always try your best and never ever give up. And finally, what do you think of Mr. Tola? There are many things that a third grader should know or be aware of coming to the UES. First, it might be a big difference from your elementary school, but don't worry about getting lost. You will get used to it. You also are with your class most, if not all the time. Next, a third grader should know that you can't fool around since your teachers now expect more of you since you're a fourth grader. This also means that you need to do your work all the time as well as that you have two teachers instead of one. One is for language arts and social studies, and one is for math and science. Lastly, there are way more fun after-school activities that you could sign up for. Some examples are volleyball, track, basketball, pickleball, and many more. In conclusion, there are so many new things you will have to do, but you will meet a bunch of new friends, so don't be scared. Mrs. Bloom? May I make a few comments? Yes. First. First. Mr. Coleman's burger. Mr. Coleman's burger. Starting next Monday. Starting next Monday. We place all stairwells. We place all stairwells. <laughs> with escalators. With escalators. <laughs> <laughs> also. I like that one. I know I like I'm getting one. old. I know I'm getting old. But did I hear? Did I hear? Mr. Walls. <laughs> Mr. Walls. Recommend, recommend to follow the rules and regulations. To follow the rules and regu <laughs> regulations. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Mrs. Cognanese, this is one terrific group we have. Yes, we are very proud of everyone. Thank you everyone for your words of wisdom. We will now open to public participation on presentation and agenda items only. Anyone from the public? Seeing none, we will close public and move on to superintendent's report and board questions or comments on agenda items only. Thank you, Ms. Bloom. As always, I will try to be brief. <laughs> <laughs> on the finance and infrastructure portion of the agenda, which can be found on pages two and three, among other motions, we are asking you to approve the acceptance of a grant from the Middlesex County Office of Culture and Heritage in the amount of 2000 to be used for transportation costs for the Samsel Upper Elementary School field trip to East Jersey Old Town and Cornelius Low House Museum. We are also asking you to approve structured learning experiences for several high school students participating in the STEM capstone externship program for the remainder of the 2023 to 2024 school year. In accordance with the conditions established by the New Jersey Department of Education Structured Learning Experience Agreement. Are there any questions or comments on, the, on these finance and infrastructure motions? Seeing none. 
Next, on the student achievement portion of the agenda, which can be found on page three, we are asking you to approve the long-term suspension of a student. Likewise, on the governance portion of the agenda, which can be found on pages three through five, we are asking you to approve the March 19th, 2024 through April 1st, 2024 HIB report, including any investigations and or recommendations for action provided by the superintendent. We are also asking you to approve revisions for the Board of Education Policy 5570, Sportsmanship and Policy Regulation 8660, Student Transportation for our first reading. Are there any questions or comments on the student achievement or governance motions? Seeing none. Finally, among other motions on the personnel portion of the agenda, which can be found on pages five through seven, we are asking you to appoint certificated and non-certificated substitutes for the 2023 to 2024 school year. In addition, we are asking you to appoint staff for the Samsel Upper Elementary School STEAM clubs, which will run from April 8th, 2024 through June 12th, 2024. Are there any questions or comments on these, on these or any of the personnel motions of the agenda? Mr. Walls, Mr. Callahan? I bet you are relieved to see there are no retirements. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> it's the best night ever. <laughs> Mrs. Bloom, that concludes my superintendent's report. Thank you, Dr. Lobby. Now we are going to open for, to the public for any items. So moved. We need a motion to approve for the agenda. So moved. Second. 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 Oh. Sorry. Third. Third. Mr. Callahan, jump down there. Ms. Hill, roll call. Mr. Callahan? Yes. Mr. Esposito? Yes. Mr. Fernandez? Yes. Uh, board Vice President Mrs. N. Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Pabone. Yes. Ms. Pylock. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Walsh. No. <laughs> yes. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Bloom. Yes. Now we will open to the public for any questions. Seeing none, we will close public. Closing comments, Mr. Tola. Good evening, members of the Cerville Board of Education and Central Administration. My name is Peyton Sakovich, and I am here tonight representing Mr. Tola, Vice Principal of the Samsel Upper Elementary School. I would like the students who have participated in the Let the Children Lead program to know how proud I am of their hard work and dedication to our school and the borough of Cerville. Within these students lies the future of our community. I would also like to thank all the staff members that came out tonight to support the students that their dedication is just one of the many things that make them amazing educators. Thank you again for your participation and support in this special evening. Next meeting dates, Tuesday, April 16th, 2024, and Tuesday, May 7th, 2024. Now I need a motion to adjourn. 
So move. So what? <laughs> second. <laughs> second. <laughs> second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The meeting is adjourned.